Welcome to this DCS AWAX tutorial. This will be nice and quick. Let aircraft. We are on combined joint task force blue. You can use whatever you want to use. It just has to have the AWAX available. Your choices are the A50 if you've got the Russian jets like the flanker that you want data link for. Or if you're on the NATO coalitions, you can use the E2D or the E3A. Place that down. We're going to leave it as veteran. We'll leave everything else default here. At the bottom, we'll give it a realistic altitude or at least a high altitude. I usually do 30,000 feet. We'll stick it at Mark 0.5. You can set whatever speed you want. It will just try and reach it. So if it's too high, it will just keep trying to accelerate. And then all we need to do is add the AWACS. If you want a circular orbit, you can use a single waypoint. When you're with waypoint one selected, advanced waypoint actions, add form task, orbit, circle, speed we'll match it to our speed down here so 297 at 30,000 feet and that AWAX will work perfectly with all the NATO aircraft if you want to get the flanker data link you do the same thing with an A50 thank you for watching I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one